So not only are people just confessing sin, but they're being guided and coached to go and talk to someone that can help them through that process, which again, for something that's remote and not a local church, they're handling it so, so well. Another thing that they're doing Mm -hmm. is they're shutting down foreign expressions. So people are coming in with shofars and flags and stuff like that. And they're, hey, take a pause one second. We love you. We honor you. We understand this is how you worship God and your expression of revival. But again, this is a holy mm-hmm. place. We're trying to be somber here. You know, what we would ask that you would, you'd be obedient to the leadership here who's asking that we not be extremely expressive, but rather be somber because that's what started this thing. We're trying to steward this thing well. And even, I think I mentioned this earlier, I don't know, but like people would be like clapping and worshiping the songs and you could hear the people, the congregants clapping faster and faster, like, like trying to rile the thing up. But the guys on guitars are just keeping a steady beat and they won't let it get out of control. And it's just so fascinating to see 